and racing. Ready boy up nice and so is Wandy Luck. Wandy Luck goes the lead. Round the outside showing up there Jester Maiden. Right round the outside runway Queen Little get there to Isabel Domain. They're followed out wider by Blonde Tory around the corner and grabbing the lead now Jester Mate. Jester Mate. Runway Queen third. Wandy Luck just. They're followed by Isabel Domain. Further back there we go Blonde Tory. Lockie's laid him back last. There would have been Ready Boy. Racing down on the inside, Starburst Blanche got the hop and Primitive and going around the outside. Sea Spray Tits, then home was Mayhem. They're followed three lengths away by Princely Dollar. Further back, excuse please, out wider still ring it in around the corner. Getting right away though is Starburst Blanche. Starburst Blanche will beat home with Mayhem Primitive. Then in photos, Princely Dollar, Sea Spray Tits and wider out ring it in. Further back along the inside, Knox and well back towards the tail. We would have had excuse please. Racing down on the inside called Geordie got the hop they're followed out wide by Benny's Angel going up and they're followed Swip and Tears come round the outside rapidly they're followed down on the inside two ways that another back here around the corner Swip and Tears grab the lead Swip and Tear gets away and scores nicely Benny's Angel two ways was third then there's a gap there to home was Churro they're followed by another back here no pride out wider still called Geordie and back there towards the tail goes his pride Racing and pretty good out wide began very smartly followed out by no advantage there followed moving up the third deep letter reader but it goes wide getting the rails run Corbo Moth no advantage and now uh, down on the inside Corbo Moth etched in stone but no advantage has got away no advantage will score then we've got Corbo Moth little gap to the others no escape might have got up for third it's in a photo with etched in stone back we go there too deep letter reader pick the tip they're followed by Marmalade Skies. They don't know what happened. It's pretty good. It jumped out good. And it's ended up at the tail of the field. Racing Chevy Chevelle's out nicely and going up now to join at Maximum Jill. Followed out wider still by trying to get around there as a power webby. The rail opening up for Rambunctious round the turn out of the straight they run. Red Typhoon running to about fifth spot. They're followed back. We go there to uh, Adulterous well back and checked out of the race. A Hoka Frenchie off the back. Maximum Jill is the leader. Out by a length and a half. They're followed Rambunctious coming to the outside. Chevy Chevelle they turn the corner. Red Typhoon finishing on but up they come. Getting there, it's it's a photo, but I think Maximum Jewel held. Maximum Jewel rambunctious, diving through Red Typhoon out wide. A Chevy Chevelle, they're followed back. We go there too. The next one there, a Power Rebby, Rocky Baxter. Rocky Baxter was followed adulterous and a Hoka Frenchie well back towards the tail.
racing. Sting Me up fairly well. One of the best out, Zebediah. Sting Me's going to push through, though, and grab the lead. Here's Drysdale ripping round the outside. A length of two back. They were followed. One deep border gap in the field. The other's headed by Pearl's boy around the corner. Sting Me down the outside. Drysdale got up. Drysdale, Sting Me. Five back, third, one deep boiler. There followed Zebediah. Little gap the others. Pearl's boy down on the inside. Uh, no mistake, rule judge Judy. And that was back near the tail of the field. Racing, field away, jumped nicely, Ginger Powell, one of the best out though was Gold Star Bella, Ginger Powell straight onto the speed, round the turn into the straight, going up a little wide on the track is Unshaken, they were followed on the inside by Big Time Kalina, a length and a half back there to Sahara Storm, they're followed back, we go now to no peril, well back there, no water, out the back of the field is Chill Out Ralph, down the back they go, and Gold Star Bella, Ginger Powell though, ready to pounce, moves up on the outside, hits the lead, and uh, Ginger Powell, Gold Star Bella racing it hard though around the corner these two having a great duel Gold Star Bella won't give it away it's outstaying Ginger Power and Gold Star Bella by a neck beat Ginger Power three lengths away big time Kalina they're followed by no peril out wide on the track Sahara Storm back we go there to no honour unshaken and the uh, chill out Ralph was back in the rear view as well Racing. Best out would have been Ben Bit also out smartly. A power style is followed through on the inside by Wandy Pam and going up and around the outside, but just trapped out a bit there is Kanicki. Head of the Ben of Power No Air's got to run through on the rail. So down the back they go. Bambit's made the lead. Bambit in front. Take no prisoner. Two lengths away. Wandy Pam. A power no air running on. A length and a half back. Take a trick. They're followed a gap to the others headed by Speedy Casual around the corner. Nicely clear though. Bambit. Back-to-back -back wins for Bambit, wins it well. Second home is a power style, and getting home for third, a power no ear narrowly. They followed Take No Prisoner, and then in that bunch we had, uh, we had behind those runners take a trick, followed there, Wandy Pam, and towards the tail, Speedy Kaza Kanicki. down on the inside, Corborn Queen, a touch slow, best out would have been Nipper Mary, round the outside, Rockets moved up and hit the lead, and getting through now, Sarah Rioli, getting around wide on the track, Go Housie in between runners, Mr Whippy around the corner, Sarah Rioli's grabbed the lead and dashed away, Sarah Rioli's heart and cup gets away to score nicely, Rockets then Mr Whippy, out wide on the track, Go Housie, they're followed in amongst them, but more better, and down on the inside, Elkie and back we go towards the tail, We'd have, uh, when Nipper Mary showed up early, uh, that was back and so was Corbin Queen.
racing a par with Jed out fairly. Best out would have been Indy's Grace. Has gone straight to the lead. Now Jed's missed away badly tonight. And the leader is Indy's Grace from way to go. Round the turn out of the straight. Three lengths away. Charlie's Choice getting into the race. No attempt. A par with Jed. The rail then no class. Three to stolen money and right back last. Another cold off the back now. And it's Indy's Grace. She's going beautifully. She's a length and a half clear turning in. Way to go. Trying hard. Little Indy's Grace. She's going to lead all the way. She provides the upset. Indy's Grace has won the St. Ledger. Way to go and up on the outside. No attempt. Then we go back there too. A par with Jed. Uh, they're followed back behind a par with Jed when they cross. Would have been stolen money. Uh, back towards the tail. Well, no class got back early and well back there. Another colt. That was one of the last there on crossing. Racing, he missed it slightly. Callahan best out would have been Butterbean. Followed out Callahan going up on the outside, jumping Julia down on the inside. One D Jewel between those runners. Hot Mango going to do a bit of strife. They're followed well back. Bugsy Bangles around the corner. Callahan charges up, grabs the lead. Callahan favourite to beat Butterbean. They're followed by jumping Julia third. There's a gap then to One D Jewel. They distance the others. They're followed Austin Wanna. Bugsy Bangles no favours. And Hot Mango after being stri in strife mid race was the last one home. Racing Jazzy Jet jumped nicely. Now Homeless Crudence hit the ground running and going up and around the outside. Memphis Hotcakes followed down on the inside. Corbon Chief. Oh, Homeless Crudence in trouble. Getting through on the inside behind them. Claremont Bazaars out wider still. Jackson Cat around the corner. Jazzy Jet's hit the lead though and Jazzy Jet will score. Memphis Hotcakes three back. Corbon Chief along the inside. Claremont Pizzazz. Right behind that was Wandy Grant and up on the outside. Lenny Southcombe. They followed back. We go there to... Uh, towards the back there, Jackson Cat and the one that found trouble, home was Cruden, has ended up at the tail of the field. Russell, that's for me. I'll go three, five, seven, and I'll put the two in in the first. And uh, you're right about that third race. It's looking as though it's going to be a pretty nice contest. That that's the trickiest one of the night. As they're off and running here in the first, they've begun. And uh, stepping out pretty well on the inside was under the Monarch, Mr Majestic out wide. made a fast beginning as well. Castle Sun is on the journey. Up on the inside of those to final effort. Running up in between runners, Pegasus Dream. A bit of a space away, Priscilla P and Face Valley was turning last. They head around the corner the first time into the back they go. Uh, trouble here. One galloping as Pegasus Dreams went up in the air. And the other is under the Monarch who's had a bit of a canter as well. Uh, leaves Castle Sun nicely clear. Leads by three lengths into the back. Mr Majestic hotly in chase after it. About to three and a half lengths away at good speed down the back is final effort. Another length and a half away Priscilla P. Two lengths behind Priscilla P is face value. There's a space of about 10 or 15 metres further afield to under the Monarch. And at last of all, after a mistake, is Pegasus Dream. Off the back they run. Mr Majestic round to the front. Leads out by two lengths. They run past the 1400. Second Castle Sun, three lengths away. Third, 
as they work to the 1200 metres now is going to be final effort another two lengths further astern Priscilla P face value behind that under the Monarch is rapidly making leeways three lengths away at about five lengths further astern to Pegasus Dream through the lane they work 1100 metres to run first of the night being led up front by Mr Majestic down to the post a lap to run two lengths behind it in the trailers Castle Sun Final effort third. The fourth off them is Priscilla P. A length back behind that to face value. Under the Monarchs latched onto the bunch and about five lengths away is Pegasus Dream. They run their way towards the entrance to the back straight. 800 to go. Pacemaker is Mr Majestic rolling along at a very strong tempo. Has four lengths, five lengths to spare. Over Castle Sun. A length and a half away third and near the markers to final, uh, to, uh, final effort. A length and a half behind it now. Moving out to attack is Priscilla P at the 600. The leader's often gone by eight or nine here. Moving into the chase as well. A length and a half away is face value from the back. There's three lengths away. Two under the Monarch. Down the side. Four, uh, 400 left to run. Mr Majestic still leads by six. Priscilla P heads the chase. After that is face value on the outside. There's about oh, six lengths further astern. The rest are tired. Final effort heads those. Castle Sons in a gallop way back. They turn for home. Mr Majestic Priscilla P is three lengths away in closing. So too on the outside is face value. Mr Majestic he's holding here. He still has about two to spare and will score. Down towards the post the first goes to Mr Majestic. Priscilla P is about two lengths away at the line. Third across face value. Good effort fourth. Under the Monarch claimed that from final effort. A bit of a space away. Pegasus Dream. Uh, Castle Sun dropped right out of it. light they're off and running come out in a good line heavenly creature Ella Fitzgerald the inside have both begun well Brazilian smile whips over near the fence immediately right behind them uh, easing back just a little on the outside as shards of Myros runs fourth has the 1-1 one, one set into the first turn Dark Down is behind it Tartan Trilogy not rushed out neither was Sammy the Bull and Tan Sun Newt's the tail end up they work their way to the 1800 metres and Ella Fitzgerald from the one gate leads the field. Heavenly Creature works up on the outsides a length and a half away at the 1800. Trailing his Brazilian smile. Shards of Myros 1-1 one, one sit next on the outside. Dark Down is a length back on its tail. That's uh, uh, racing one out, so are the next three. They are Tartan Trilogy, Sammy the Bull and Tan Sun Newt. Down the back, 1600 metres to go. Uh, dictating the tempo is Ella Fitzgerald. Uh, over on the outside of its wheel is a heavenly creature. Brazilian smile has the gun run on the trail. Nice sit on the outside for shards of Myros. They wheel off the back and run to the 1400. Dark Dana's next running one out. Uh, so too Tartan Trilogy. Sammy the Bull two lengths away and last two lengths away is Tan Sun Newt. They work to the corner. A little outside the 1200 metres. Ella Fitzgerald dictates the tempo and it's not strong. Just cruising along in front at its own uh, terms. Right behind it is Brazilian Smile in the trail. Heavenly Creature parked on the outside. Tartan Trilogy's on the move. Goes forward three wide. Sammy the Bull smartly onto its back. Just on the inside of those. Uh, still in the 1-1. One, one about to be three back. As shards of Myros. Dark Dana stays put. And so does Tan Sun Newt at the back of the field. Uh, they start their last lap. They run to the 900. Uh, where it is Tartan Trilogy the outside. Ella Fitzgerald, the inside, still has a length margin on it. Sammy De Bull is working up three wide on the outside. Brazilian smile is near the markers. Two lengths off the leaders back, though. Next on the outside, Heavenly Creature. Being followed by Shards of Myros, Dark Dana and Tan Sun Uta still two lengths away. Ella Fitzgerald ups the tempo, running down to the 600. Over on the outside is Sammy De Bull, sitting in the leader's wheel at the 600. Brazilian smile still tucked away in the trail. Shards of Myros goes forward three wide on the outside. Favourites pocketed in between runners, Tartan Trilogy. Down on the inside is Shards of Myros. Tan Sun Newt's three wide with cover. And Heavenly Creature a length back in the centre's last. But there's only about five top to bottom. They run to the turn. Ella Fitzgerald. Brazilian smile awaits the 
the Washington VC lane. Semi the ball up on the outside of Ella Fitzgerald. She's still travelling okay here as they turn and go. Wide around on the track then is Dark Dana putting in a run down the outside. And Ten Sun Newt is trying to bomb them all. Tartan Trilogy gets a gap one out. Ella Fitzgerald is holding them all at bay though. She's going to score Tartan Trilogy. Ducking. Missed. Ella Fitzgerald. Tartan Trilogy. Semi the ball. Dark Dana and Ten Sun Newt the widest. Right behind those, Brazilian smile and the heavenly creatures about five lengths away, the last to go by. Off and running. Uh, coming out well was Vera's delight. Billy the Bus is going to be hunted forward over the outside, and he's quickly going to make the lead. Uh, dropping into trail is going to be Shears, better babe through on the inside. Left park, Vera's delight. Behind those uh, came It's Only Me, who runs three back on the inside. Zach Bromack works to a nice spot. Bodine Clementine caught three wide round the first corner. In between runners, Kaylee Bolter. Elbow sneaks up along the fence underneath both those. Bon Accord, Babers next, a length and a half away, two back to Bubs Hanover, and the Roman Prince, a length last on its inner. They straighten for the run down the back the first time, Billy the Bus leads. She is better babe in the trail, it's only me as three back. Bodine Clementine works forward on the outside, it's only me came away from the fence though and put it out three wide. Just in behind those to Elbow, who's near the centre, continues to make leeway. Vera's delights on its outside, a length back. There's two lengths further astern to Bubs Hanover, runs on the inside of Zach Bromack. Kaylee Bolter follows Zach Bromack. The next is Bon Accord, Babe, and two and a half lengths to the Roman Prince. They wheel into the lane, 1,200 metres to run the leader, Billy the Bus. She is better, Babe, camped on its back. The stable mate is parked, Bodine Clementine, elbows three back. 1-1 one, one sit on the outside of those. It's to, uh, it's only me. Worked into a nice spot as they work to the post. A lap out right behind uh, It's only me. The next is Vera's Delight. Zach Bromack follows it. Down on the inside is Bubs Hanover. Kaylee Bolter next. Moving three wide from the back is Bon Accord, babe. Uh, Kaylee Bolter moves out to follow it three wide round the field and the Roman Prince left at the back. They run to the 800 metres, Billy the Bus. Here come the attackers, though. Bon Accord, babe, quickly up on the outside, runs to second as a neck away from Billy the Bus. Kaylee Bolter has followed it forward, and it goes to attack three wide as well. The speed is right on here. In behind them, too. She is better, babe, tucked away on the inside. It's only me out three wide round Bodine Clementine. Elbow is underneath those three back and three deep. Zach Bromack three wide. Follows It's Only Me. Zach Bromack giving ground. Vera's Delights caught on its tail. Costed a couple of lengths and Bubs Hanover had a bit of a gap then to the Roman Prince. They're about to turn for home. Billy the Bus. Main danger right on its tail. She is better babe. Awaits the passing lane. Kaylee Bolter is still there on the outside. Elbow is coming at them right down the outside. She is better babe goes to Billy the Bus. Elbow is putting in a big strong run down the outside. These are the three. She is better babe on the inside. Elbow out wide, she is better, babe. Beats elbow, Billy the Bus is third. I think Vera's delights the fourth over. That's a good run. Kaylee Bolter next. Behind those, Bub Sanover. It's only me, Zach Bromek. A uh, bit of a gap away to the rest. They were Bonacor, babe. Bodine Clementine. And last in is the Roman Prince. Uh, clear the connection from one, they're off and running here, field away, and A1 just scrambled away and it's gear a bit, gliding charm's gone out and a gallop as well, and the rest away pretty much okay, Kai Kluther connection from one is best out, not for long though, LBL is motoring up on the outside, gliding charm settles, gets to third, Jean's Majesty two lengths away, running on the outside of Robbins Christian into the first turn, about two lengths away is infrequently. Back behind and frequently is Eddie Boy and A1. After that, Scratchy starts a length and a half last. They run their way to the 1800 metres at good speed here. 
The leader is LBL. Kai Kluther Connection trails. Gliding Charm runs third. We're all in single file here, one behind the other. The fourth off them is Robbins Christian. Two links to Jean's Majesty running midfield, the race favourite. Right in behind it now is infrequently. A length and a half to Eddie Boy and two links away as they won last of all. They reach the end of the back straight, they're 1,500 out. The leader LBL by two. Kai Kluther connection trails. Gliding Charm moves away from the fence. Sits parked on the outside. Gives Robbins Christian a nice 1-1 one, one sit. Runs on the outside of infrequently. Jean's Majesty is next. There's got two behind it. The big bloke is Eddie Boy and A1's a length and a half last. They wheel into the lane. They're 1,200 out. LBL brings them around the turn by the 1,200. Kai Kluther connection. Running third to Marcus infrequently. Here's Jean's Majesty on the move. Three wide. Moves up parked on the outside. Gives cover to Gliding Charm. Then came a length and a half back. Robbins Christian. They're at the post. A lap out. Two links to Eddie Boy and two links to A1. They head for the northern turn. LBL. Jean's Majesty's a length and a half away on the outside. On the leader's back is Kai Kluther Connection. Gliding Charm next on the outside and frequently is on its inner at the 800. About a length and a quarter back to Robbins Christian. They're motoring along a little here. Two links to Eddie Boy and two to A1 who's last. LBL takes them down the back at good speed. It's out by a length and a half. Trailing is Kai Kluther Connection. They've passed the 600. Jean's Majesty parked to the outside. Right on its tail is Gliding Charm and frequently down on the inner. Behind them, Robbins Christian, Eddie Boy. NA1's a couple of lengths away. They come to the turn. LBL's got them all off the nickel here. Uh, going rough at the back of the field, Eddie Boy's in a gallop. LBL around the turn's got a length to spare. Jean's Majesty on the outside. This leader's still travelling well. Jean's Majesty's being called upon now. It's two lengths away. Then infrequently to the outside. And up on the inside is Gliding Charm. LBL. Jean's Majesty is trying to pick it up on the outside. LBL is holding. Jean's Majesty diving at it. Don't know. Might have got it. Not sure. The outside was Jean's Majesty. LBL, the inner. Third's tight as well. It's between Gliding Charm and infrequently. A bit of a gap to Kai Kluther Connection. The next to go by is A1 and Eddie Boy and Robbins Christian dropped out to be last in. Mumbit Lyle turn round. There they go. Off and running, uh, feel away. They step out. Uh, Earl's Bullock girls on the journey. They're all off trotting here. Nobody's made a mistake. No potatoes begun well. Uh, so is Bert Powell on the outside. City Courage the inside of those. South and Reflector poking up between runners. Two lengths away is John Henry Gallion. Sunnyview Impulse came next. A length back behind it to Amy's Invasion. Onto its back goes Lewis H. Galaxy Hunter makes ground the inner. And Mumbeat Lyle's about five lengths away. They run uh, towards the turn first time. No potato leads. Bert Powell moves forward on the outside. He's about to join it. South and Reflector next on the outside. Has a nice sit at the moment. Down on the inside trailing is Earl's Bullet Girl. City Courage three back on the inside. John Henry Gallion next on the outside as Bert Powell heads to the lead. Right in behind those came uh, Lewis H who's on the move. Three wide up and around Sunnyview Impulse. In behind those, Galaxy Hunter is near the fence. Amy's Invasion is just ahead of it on the outside. And Mumbeat Lyle's a length last. They head out around the turn, running to the 1800 metres. New leader, South and Reflect around to the front. Handing up and trailing is Bert Powell. Lewis H, the new challenger, moves forward at speed on the outside. There's no loitering here. They uh, go inside the 1800. Uh, no potato now, three back as Lewis H heads for the front. Still in the open is John Henry Gillian, Sunnyview Impulse. It whips around the outside, three wide as they run to the 1600. Uh, about a length back behind those two worlds, Buller Girl on the inside. No potato is next on the outside, three back on the outside with cover. Right behind those came Amy's Invasion. On its inside is City Courage. A length back to the last two, they are Mumbeat Lyle and Galaxy Hunter just on the inner. 
They run down the side. 1,400 metres to go. Lewis H leads the field. Southern Reflector in the trail. Setting up on the outside then to Sunnyview Impulse. In behind them, Bert Fowler's three back. Over on the outside, having the 1-1 one, one sit John Henry Gillian. No Potato was right behind that with City Courage the inner. In behind those came Amy's Invasion, who follows the favourite. Mum Beat Lyle follows Amy's Invasion. And last on the inside is Galaxy Hunter. At the post, the lap to run. Pacemaker Lewis H. Moving up on the outside, Sunnyview Impulse. Right in behind, getting a lovely gun run on the trailer. Southland Reflector. Over on the outside, John Henry Gillian, 1-1 one, one sit. On its inner is Bert Powell. No potato next on the outside. 800 left to run. Earl's Bullet Girl down on its inner ahead away. Then Amy's Invasion on the outside of City Courage. Mum beat Lyle and Galaxy Hunter in a tight spot back in the inner. They run to the 600 metres. Lewis H at good speed. Sunnyview Impulse, Southland Reflector. Three back on the inside is Bert Powell. Over on the outside of that to John Henry Gillian. No potato next. Down on the inside to Earl's Bullet Girl. Favourite, the leader's got them stretched out a bit here. In behind those as they run to the home turn. Oh, Bert Powell, at least uh, No Potato galloped. About to hook out and galloped. It leaves at the home turn. Lewis H nicely clear. Round the turn for home. Coming off, it's back to attack South and Reflector. In behind those, Bert Powell's gone up in the air. Down the outside comes Galaxy Hunter with a big run. And City Courage up in the inner. South and Reflector burst to the lead. Galaxy Hunter is absolutely flying, but too late. South and Reflector, Galaxy Hunter. Now, Mumbeat Lyle was storming home on the outside. Lewis H. And on the inside, City Courage for the minor money. Back behind those came Earl's Bullet Girl. Amy's Invasion, John Henry Gilliam. Bert Powell, who did it all wrong in the straight. Sunnyview Impulse and No Potato. He did it all wrong at about the 400 metres. to the start. Green light, we're off and running. Rescan from two's out well. Not as good as Briley Star, who's punched out by Matty, straight to the lead. Out by two at the post with 2,000 to go. Takmar holds up near the markers on the inside. Caesar goes forward to be parked. Rescan's about to get a nice sit on the outside. Demel Monch is two lengths away. He runs in about fifth place, a length and a half then to, to uh, Washington Star. Loving the dark on its back. And just on the inside of those is Blanco keeping Love in the Dark out one. They straighten for the run down the back and Briley Star leads. Takmar in the trail. Caesar third over on the outside. Rescan creeps forward on the outside. Demel Monch right on its tail. Then came on the inside of those, wanting to just pull a bit down near the fence as Blanco. On the outside of Blanco to Washington Star and Love in the Dark is the tail ender about eight lengths from the lead up. Off the back they run down the side. He's buttoned off the petrol up front with Briley Star. On its back is Takmar the inside and sitting parked on the outside, Rescan. A length back, three back on the inside, Caesar. Demel Monch getting a lovely run on the outside. It's being followed round by Washington Star, Blanco the inside. And Love in the Dark can see them all's last on the outside. Through the lane, they're inside the 2000, the 1200. And the leader here is cruising along pretty well on the lead. Briley Star, Matty looks across, sees the challenge is coming. Demel Monch is out to attack on the outside and will work to the front. Matty hands up, lets it go. Uh, over on the outside, Washington Star is on the move. Uh, then Love in the Dark has followed it forward three wide. Rescan and Titan cramped quarters in the centre. Takmar is three back in a crammed up little field. Uh, about a length back to Blanco, the outside, and Caesar on its inner. They wheel into the back now. Down past the 700, they travel. Demel Monch leads. Love in the dark, three wide. Washington Star ahead back in the centre. Right behind them is tucked away on the inside. Briley Star gets cover for the last part of the race. They're inside the 600. Takmar back on the inside. Risk on the outside. Blanco and Caesar are the last two. Down the side of the track to the 400. Demel Monch, Love in the dark, and Eck away. Briley Star is camped on them. Awaits the Washington VC lane. Over the outside, Washington Star being tapped up. Then came Caesar and Takmar just ahead of that. 
De Melmonts turns the corner first. Love in the dark on the outside. Washington Star is hooked out three wide. And back on the inside of those two, Briley Star. It is still De Melmonts has the lead. Uh, Love in the dark can do no more. Down towards the post. And De Melmonts is going to score. Briley Star second. Third over is Washington Star. The outside of those to Blanco. Uh, then came Caesar. Love in the dark couldn't go on with it. Tecma and Riskan. All for DB on the inside. Green light, we're off and running. Mullingar Mack, he's about 40 metres behind them at the get-go. Uh, out well as Monty Kringle on the outside is going to head for the front. The early speed is on. Leads out overall for DB who trails. Back on the inside of those, Cullen's finest. Three back on the inside. Stable mates beside it, Lakeview. Uh, then came Fiery Rascal, runs on the outside. Del Sur, the inner. Here's Shift Air length back, running one out. The next two are. High gun second, the last, and there's only two lengths away to Mullingar Mack. Into the back, they work to the 1,700 metres. The leader, Monty Kringle. Right behind it, and the trailer's all for DB. Next on the outside, Lakeview without cover. Three back, Cullen's finest. Fiery Rascal, 1-1. One, one. Here's Shifty is on its back. Del Sur, the inner. A length and a half away to High Gun. Body his time back, second to last. And there's a length and a half then to the tail ender, and that's Mullingar Mack. Off the back, Monty Kringle doing it easily. Under a strong hold in the leads, clear by a length and a half. Inching up to its outside rim now is Lakeview. Down on the inside, two, all for DB. Cullen's finest, three back. Fiery Rascal getting a nice cosy run tonight. Next on the outside, here's High Gun moving around three wide as they angle into the lane. 1,200 to go. Forward comes the favourite. Here's Shifty back on the outside. On its inner is Del Sur and Mullingar Mag bides its time at the back of the field. They run down to the winning post with a lap to run. Monty Kringle joining it on the outside, a length away. High gun right behind him in the trailers, all for DB. Next on the outside, Lakeview. Cullen's finest, the inner. Fiery Rascal next on the outside. A neck on its inside is Del Sur. Second last, here's Shifty. Mullingar Mac is last. They have 800 left to run. Monty Kringle in front, head on the side just a little. It's about a neat length in front of High Gun, who's parked on the outside. All for DB has had a splendid run on the trail. Lakeview next on the outside. Three back, the markers, Cullen's finest. Fiery Rascal on the outside. They ramp up the speed here. They run to the 500 metres. Following Fiery Rascal, here's Shifty Del Sur and Mullingar Mack. Monty Kringle down the side of the track to the 400. Has a neck to spare. Inching up on the outside is High Gun. All for DB still on the trail. Flat to the boards though. Over on the outside of that to Lakeview. Then came on the inside Cullen's Finest and Fiery Rascal hooked out. Monty Kringle turns the corner given full bore. High Gun on the outside is trying to close. In behind them is Cullen's Finest along the fence. Fiery Rascal and Del Servant. Monty Kringle is too links in front and will score easily. Monty Kringle over Cullen's finest high gun. Uh, Fiery Rascal I think is just fourth. Lakeview the outside. Del Sur the inner. Then came Mullingar Mack and here's Shifty and all for DB is the last one to go by. Step up. Mackenzie Jacob beside it. They're off and running. Fell on the last to run away. They all came out pacing. Uh, Lucifer Flight maybe just the slow one to go, but pacing nonetheless. Mackenzie Jacob has rocketed off the mark. Leads by four lengths over Tango Lady. Jack Opie smartly up third on the outside. Room the inner. Following those around Rock of Tara Lobs, a nice spot. Right behind it is Libby Jacker down on the inside. Christmas in New York. 2,400 still to run. A length back behind those to Tyree Wings on the outside. And Elusive Flight's a length and a half away last. 
They're about to wheel into the lane. They run to the 2,200. Mackenzie Jacob over on the outside. Jack Opie goes up to Y Ball. The leader puts the head in front, about to stroll down near the markers. Rock of Tara's about to be left in the open on the outside. Uh, down on the inside of all of those. Tucked away along the fence, Tango Lady. Next on the outside, Libby Jacker works to a nice spot. Behind those to Tyree Wings running next around Rome, the inner. Christmas in New York and Elusive Flight, the outside of it are the last two. That's the order. They run to the 1800 metres. And the leader is the race favourite, Jacker Opie. Right behind it, tucked away in the trail is Mackenzie Jacob Rock of Tara Parked. Tango Lady, three back the inner. Libby Jacker runs beside that as they work inside the 1700. Then on the outside is Tyree Wings. Down on the inside of Tyree Wings and Ekaway Rome. Elusive uh, Flight, the outside in Christmas in New York. Inside the 1600 metres. The leader is the race favourite. Off the back, Jacker Opie down the side towards the 1400. Here's a move. Whipping around the outside, Elusive Flight from the back has rocketed up and just wants to go rough for a step or two as it got beside the leader, settles though and is now a head away second right in behind those along the fence, the inner to Mackenzie Jacob Rock of Tara the outside of that Libby Jack is on its back Christmas in New York is on the move lopes up three wide Tango Lady is still three back on the inside behind it, Libby Jack gets away is now uh, next on the outside Tari Wings on its back and shaken up last is Rome at the post. They're a lap out. They're about to tackle the northern turn. And Christmas in New York has gone up on the outside of the leader, Jack Opie, to put some pressure on it. They run to the 800. Camped on them is Mackenzie Jacob getting a beautiful drip. Elusive Flight now has cover. Rock of Tara next to the outside of Tango Lady. Libby Jack is a length back. Tari Wings and dropping away right out of the race is Rome. Down the back they go, they're serving it up to the leader. Jack Opie the inside, Christmas in New York ahead away. They reach the end of the back straight, they're 500 out. Right in behind the Mackenzie Jacob is travelling in the trail. Over on the outside of those then, uh, as they work down the side to Elusive Flight. Behind them is Rock of Tara, Tango Lady, Libby Jacker and Tyree Wings the tail end up. Up to the home turn, Elusive Flight is out of the 1-1. Now Jack Opie turns first. Christmas in New York struggling. New challenger, Elusive Flight on the outside. Starting to rocket down the outer. Mackenzie Jacob and Tango Lady duck for the inside. Elusive Flight goes up to Jack Opie. Rock of Tara's coming at them late in the piece. Elusive Flight the outside holding towards the line. Jack Opie might have come back and grabbed them. Jack Opie, Elusive Flight. The inside of those was Mackenzie Jacob. And Rock of Tara up close, a good go. Tango Lady, Tyree Wings, behind those came Christmas in New York. Alongside of that was Libby Jacker, and Rome drops away. He was beaten.